chips are one of the top snack foods in the world. And the guys behind Rap City have found themselves a recipe that has people scooping them up by the bag full. The chips really started as an add-on to the wraps and sandwiches. We didn't we know what we didn't want to do, which was serve them our wraps and sandwiches with a pickle or wrap up the sub in wax paper and put an elastic on it. And um, we didn't want to use somebody else's product. They soon outgrew their Londonderry flagship location and moved chip production to an industrial park in Derry where they go through quite a few spuds. We're going through 10 to 12,000 pounds of potatoes a week. We have now launched Rap City Potato Chip Company because the, the demand for our potato chips has grown so much. So the potatoes are a little different. They, um, they're a russet potato cooked 100% in canola oil. A um, little salty, a little sweet. Um, we have to keep some of the rest to ourselves, but they, they certainly are different for sure. The chips are being sold in specialty shops, online, and in all nine Rap City locations around New Hampshire. A perfect complement to your Super Bowl spread. If you told us 10 years ago, five years ago, we were going to be in the potato chip business, we probably would have laughed you out of the room. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah. but you have to listen to your customers. We do the Bavarian style pretzel, so we do dip them in lye. Um, so if you've ever been to Germany, our pretzel is going to taste like someone that's been to Germany. In the mills in Rollinsford, New Hampshire, Matthew Brown mixes, rolls, twists, and bakes his recipe for soft pretzels in a variety of flavors. We got the basic, which we got the salt, everything bagel seasoning on a pretzel, it's delicious. Uh, we got garlic parm, again, it's all vegan. Um, we also have cinnamon sugar. Who doesn't love a pretzel, right? Um, so uh, the big thing is it's small, little, it, it doesn't take too much. Um, not too much, but just enough. Great with beer um, or soda. Matthew's first pretzels didn't look like these, and it took him a few batches to perfect his signature twist. One thing I do with my pretzels is I, I do it uh, like a five twist in the middle, so the, the middle of the pretzel is the thicker part. So I think that's one of the biggest things that stands out with my pretzel. And being vegan, dairy, and peanut free has pretzel lovers everywhere rejoicing. I do farmers markets. Uh, I got a food truck being built right now, so I'll be attending um, different brew events, breweries, um, different events all throughout New Hampshire selling the pretzels. Super Bowl is our Chinese New Year. I mean, it's it's one of the biggest uh, days out of the year for us. Um, we kind of prepare all year round for that. At Wing It, with locations in Portsmouth, Dover, Newmarket, and Hampton, it's best to pre-order your Super Bowl spread because they go through thousands of wings every Super Bowl Sunday. What makes our wings different than everybody else's is uh, we hand cut all the wings fresh every day. We don't use anything frozen or pre-cooked. More than just a wing restaurant, Wing It is also a butchery. We also use uh, a fresh chicken product that's antibiotic free and uh, hormone free as well. And it's minimally processed. You know, basically just having the hand cut fresh jumbo white wings that we provide is something that's definitely unique and different than a lot of other places that have wings. With over 30 kinds of sauces and fries people drive miles for, Wing It says all of your Sunday snack needs covered. A lot of people come here for the fries because they're unique. So they're double cooked and they take us 24 hours to prepare first before they're ready to be served. inside down and that's eight pieces for a whole bird. Sweet Chick's Kitchen in Northampton has people up and down the seacoast clucking. I, I think it's the actual recipe and the uh, you know that everything's made from scratch. This has been a weird obsession of mine for like 15 years so any article or anything that ever popped up with fried chicken I done it. The perfected recipe includes a sweet tea brine from tea made in house. So the sweet tea brings it super subtle on the sweetness. You wouldn't notice it, but you get a little bit of the bitter from the tea and uh, you'll notice it 
more so in the bone-in chicken than the tenders, but we brine the tenders as well. And everything on the Sweet Chicks menu, from sides to sauces, are meticulously crafted from scratch. All the sauces I made we make in-house, and the lavender honey is probably one of the biggest ones. I think what I love most about this place is just the public and how much they appreciate our product and our atmosphere and our service. And it's really rewarding when people love what you do.